Yo, what's up? It's Gavin from Team Cesium. I'm not a university team, it's just I don't have a team number yet. But I am here today to show off my bot and CAD. I don't start until later into this August. But please rate it in the comments and let's get into it. So in the front we have a rubber band ball that intakes it up here. Now I know on Luke's uh, Discord, Luke does robotics in his Discord. It's been getting a lot of this. So what it and there's been a, quite a bit of confusion on what it does. So it goes up into here. It goes around and up to here where it can come out and it will have a passive blocker that this is just on a hinge up here. So it just hinges out and with a rubber band to pull it back into place. Then we have this part right here. So these piston, pistons, they should be a little bit farther up, but I haven't gotten to that yet. But what it would do, it would pull back this entire piece of plastic because it's split. And I can just reverse this top part because these two are chained together on the same axle. So I can pull this back part back and through out to here to get mid goal, upper mid. Now, let me just move it. Okay, let me so, so, as you can see, it was just dark mode. This just opens up, and this will probably be a little bit farther down, but it would open up and drop in. Uh, and it would just go forward. And this is on a 600 RPM chain for both. Uh, some parts will be slightly lo lower than 600 RPM, like this bigger gear, and to the smaller one over here. Or so this one will be actually faster than this one. Uh, I haven't really, I don't really see an issue with that. Uh, then we have the tongue mechanism at the front. And now it's just a little wheel tongue. It has some support because in the summer thing I did. These get pretty floppy very quickly. I probably will end up extending these outwards more towards up here and here. But we'll see about that. Uh, if we go to this part, I've done some art design work. I'm not sadly not going to be able to color the metal. But we will see. I have two air canisters because they're really not that heavy. Uh, this is just overlapping because there's going to be air coming from this piece to this piece over here. Because it's going to be slightly angled. Uh, it just comes up. So I can fill it up there. You have the brain, the battery. Uh, it's running a 333 RPM. Six motor drivetrain with half Omni and half traction uh, with embedded full gears and half uh, 36 tooth I think let's see no it's a 60 tooth with a Thirty-six to so it would be sixty to thirty-six, which is just about three hundred thirty-three. Now, I went with this so that way I'm actually heavier, and I will be have more torque because all of this is all aluminum mostly. It goes up. You got you see this hinge. Just somebody uses a lot of metal. It has all of these gussets everywhere. You got gussets on gussets with even more gussets over here. And then, so obviously I'm going to need a lower torque ratio for, to be in order to go fast enough and accelerate fast enough. Uh, then we have the parking brake here. Uh, it just, the piston activates on a hinge. So the hinge would bring it downward on top of a 36 tooth and hold it in place. Uh, this, this is not in the right position, but this would be properly placed. 
uh, and there's one on the other side. Now what this does is when my tongue mechanism is, activate, is activated, it would be shoved into here, and the tongue and the parking brake would prevent the drivetrain from going back and forward. So the only real way that it would be able to work is if you were somehow able to get it to go like this, kind of like diagonal and backwards at the same time, but since the parking brake is locked, the only true way you can really go backward is re or move is this way, but it's being blocked by the mechanism in the front or the aligner. Uh, it's using a full eight motors with six at the bottom, two at the top, both are 600, these two are 600 and these all six down here are 200 for torque. We get the goofy little eyeballs in the front. Uh, this will be pl uh, plastic, but these need to be split in half, so there's going to be some metal here still to like converge them or keep them controlled. It holds just about 15, but for good uh, for good measures, I'm I'm just going to say it holds 14. The rubber band roller is tied with this front 600 with a gear up here. Uh, it was just the best I can do with still having a pretty fast drive tri or intake uh, while still working properly. Uh, this is... I'm just realizing now this, this is... Uh, not. But anyways, that's the majority of it. Uh, it's, yeah, I have a lot of room over here. I'm probably going to, I have three uh, plastic pieces left for decoration, which will probably be up here. I think that the way people are going to decorate this here is by custom ordering uh, stickers that you can just stick onto, like, plex uh, plastic or like these front wedges right here I with like custom designs and that and I, I don't understand why people haven't thought of that yet I uh, but I feel like that's gonna be entirely meta right there I uh, oh I forgot all of these will be screw joints uh, this will be screw joint that will be screw joint uh, this will be on a screw joint too. Uh, this there's gonna be some uh, triangle bracing right here too. Screw joint. All of these are screw joint except for the sixty two uh, ones, which need to be axles for obvious reasons. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. But anyways, have a good night. See you.